There are only a small number of cinematographers in the world today that can truly understand the language of colour. Bagnot Delhomme, a French cinematographer, brought his unique style in lighting and colour to James Marsh's 2014 film, The Theory of Everything. The cinematography of The Theory of Everything is striking. Delhomme's use of colour and light stand at the forefront of the cinematic story, adding depth to its characters and their innermost thoughts. The Theory of Everything was shot digitally on an Ari Alexa, which is Delhomme's favourite camera. With the Alexa, Delhomme used a range of anamorphic lenses. These anamorphic lenses are used for the majority of the film, after Stephen learns of his illness. The lenses allow for a distorted perception of space, creating the sense of Stephen's disjointedness with normality. The visual curve distortion of the shots from the anamorphic lens create an otherworldly sense. Delholm also adds strong primary colours while using these lenses, further adding to Hawking's distorted view of the world and the world's view of him now that he's seen as a dying man. Alexa anamorphic lenses also increase the appearance of lens flares, which Delholm also uses during the film. Lens flares are used to evoke danger or tension, as well as anxiety and dread. An interesting example of the creative use of an anamorphic lens is seen when Stephen is first introduced to his wheelchair. The shot has an extremely shallow depth of field, accentuating how Stephen already feels trapped inside his own head. Delholm's use of light here is also accentuated. Strong natural light floods into the room for the entire scene. The light is extreme and strong, but warm, tinged with orange. This use of warm light is interesting here, almost uplifting. Though the scene's content highlights Stephen's debilitation and his loss of physical ability. Delholm explains this seemingly strange use of light in an interview. He says, Stephen is like the sun. The other actors gravitate towards him like planets. Thus, Delholm chooses to light Stephen with strong key lights or sunlight because, Delholm says, that's the energy he needs. This natural lighting is used throughout the film, whether it be in bright outdoor scenes or flooding in through windows. Delholm usually uses this window light to illuminate his actors from the back, creating a backlight. Delholm's use of colour was greatly inspired by the 1950s director Douglas Sirk, who made melodramas and was very interested in the use of colour as symbolism. The theory of everything adopts this exploration of colour and character. In this scene, which is one of Delholm's favourite scenes, Jane comes to talk to Stephen after he is diagnosed with motor neuron disease. The scene is drenched in red light, enveloping Stephen despite the white light being brought into the scene by Jane her positivity and hope making its way into his space, his haven of grief and denial. Stephen has attempted to cut away from humanity, to hide from the world. Delholm said in an interview that he bathed the scene with a blood red glow to emphasize the fact that Stephen is hiding, protected in a womb-like refuge, and that it's only the white light of Jane that pulls him out of it. In one sequence of the film, Delholm experiments the use of a Super 16 camera to shoot scenes as if they were 1970s home movies. The grainy footage mimics the quality of a Super 8 movie. The orange and green hues also evoke a sense of nostalgia and memory to the sequence. Delholm's use of framing is another example of the cinematographer's individual style. He favours to frame his shots off-centre. Mm -hmm. 
often within other frames like windows or doorways. In close-ups, actors often only fill less than half the frame, leaving large amounts of empty space in the shot. Delhomme's close-ups are rarely still, preferring movement, however slight, in his tight shots. One key example, however, of a close-up that remains still is when Stephen learns of his illness. Through the minute-long sequence, Stephen's close-up is uncommonly still, lingering on Stephen's face, as still as Stephen himself, too shocked and overwhelmed by the diagnosis to make even a slight movement. Delholm is truly a master cinematographer. His energetic use of lighting, framing and colour allow him to truly evoke his unique style. He allowed us to experience James Marsh's vision as well as allowing us to gain insight on the mind of Stephen Hawking. The theory of everything truly is a visual masterpiece. <laughs>